guys, it's Wendy here with In Focus Prints, and today I am working on a process video in my One Little Word um, series. And so um, today is going to be how I'm getting started for April, what to expect, and just kind of setting up the pages to fill in as I go. And again, at the end of April, my plan is to come back and show you the progress or the non-progress or what has taken place. And this month, my intent is to get as much decluttering upstairs done as I possibly can and hopefully bring some photos into here this month. Um, I may not get photos, but that is my goal. So the first page that I have got some stuff already stuck in here, I just need to glue it down, is the month of April. And that will stay. There's nothing else that I need to do with that. The next one that I have, and I am just going to um, glue this down, is on one side is reflections. And I want to be able to reflect back um, at the end of the month on what happened, how it happened, um, why it didn't happen. So that is going to be my reflections. So the thing I want to focus on this month is showing up for my word. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put some tape on here so I can at least get this part um, down. So my focus this month is to show up. And by that, I mean, am I showing up for my word? In other words, am I, did I make a word at the beginning of the year just to have a word? Or did I pick a word and start working with the word? and then stopping? Or am I actually going to delve into what the word means? So this month is a look back at the word and how it's working now and how it's gonna work through the rest of the year and how I'm gonna show up for that word and make it happen. So that's what my showing up is. The next thing that I have is I have put in some things that I think I might be able to use because my goal is to have a photo here of something that was positive, something that showed progress with my word, that kind of thing. So that's going to be a photo, I hope. And so I pulled out some things that I thought I could use, like take action. Um, maybe it's something that I got started, but it's not finished, but I took action um, to get it there. Um, making it visible. If I take a photo of it, it is certainly visible. Um, maybe it's let go. Maybe with my word being declutter, maybe it's something I'm going to let go of, whether that's a physical thing, mental thing, um, or let go of the control and let it just happen. The next thing is intentions. I thought maybe this photo could be um, intentions. M maybe I'm halfway through and my intention is to finish, but my intentions were to get further along, and that could be it. The other um, two things that I um, have is um, these little messy circles, and one is this word, and one is progress, not perfection. And so I was thinking this word, if I do a photo, maybe it's saying this word and showing the photo of what happened. Or progress, not perfection. Maybe I have made progress, I'm not done. Or maybe I am done, and maybe it's not perfection, but it's progress as far as I got something done. It may not have been the end result that I anticipated, but it works and it's what I need. So those are the things that I'm going to hold on to until the end of the month and I'll use which one um, that works. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and 
put this page in. Um, I'm going to actually put both pages in. So the next one I have cut out um, three by four cards. And so um, what I plan on doing with these is in the, um, the, the online um, downloadable prompts from um, Allie Edwards, um, I cut out these circles and I picked some that would go with the questions that I'm asking um, this month and I have made a list so I will read that my questions to you I've, I've picked four and the first one is unexpected discovery and so what my intent is I am going to um, glue the circle to my card and I think I'm going to leave room at the top that I can stamp and I have these Allie Edward stamps and so I thought at the end of the month, um, let's say it's something I let go of that I had not expected, then I can stamp let go. Or maybe I made progress and I can stamp progress. So I'm gonna take whichever one matches and I am going to stamp it at the top um, at the end of the month. Um, so inside the circle, what I want to write in there is, um, what is my question and um, and it may be that one of the ways that I use this is I just write my question and that's all that's on the side and then I stamp it at the top and write um, on the back I haven't really decided but as the month goes it gives me an opportunity to decide but I'm pretty sure I'm going to write my question here um, for um, The question for this this particular circle that I have written down is, what are some of the discoveries I have made, physical or mental? And so I thought I could write that in the circle and then I will reflect on the back at the end of the month. Um, part of the journey. So for this question, I've got, how am I navigating the journey of decluttering? Um, open to the possibilities. Um, how am I decluttering my mind and soul? Am I open to the possibilities of change in that area? And so then this life, um, how will decluttering change my life? How is it going to change my life? The way I function, um, the way I move forward, um, how I accept that change um, with the decluttering. So whether it's um, mental, physical, whichever way. So those are the questions that I am going to ask this month. And so I, my intent is to, on the back of the card, is to answer the question. Um, so that is what I will be working on this month. So um, I will probably come back the last couple of days of April and film another um, reflection for the month and let you guys see how far I got, what I did, um, and how it worked out. So I hope you will stay with me for this, um, series um, through the end of the year. And I hope that you're doing your own one little word. So I really appreciate you spending time with me and I re really appreciate you supporting my channel. So until the next time, bye-bye.